In a world that is remarkably imperfect, many of us pride ourselves on projecting pixels of perfection. We share images and videos online, highlighting the best parts of our brightest days, hoping others see only the parts of us we want them to. So we exaggerate the good, lie about the bad, and hide the fact that we're actually human. See, I learned a long time ago that it's okay to be human. So today, I plan to share those parts of me that aren't necessarily the brightest, but are in fact 100% me. Here are my biggest regrets and the emotions that make me human. Don't judge. Number one is caring what other people think about me. I can't talk enough about the amount of time and energy I've wasted in past years worrying myself about what others thought about me. If I did, this video would be entirely too long and <laughs> ain't nobody got time for that. So. I'll just say this, all of the time and energy I put into caring about what others thought about me was time and energy I could have put into myself, learning new things, exploring my true interest, and investing in my own creativity much sooner. But I will say that stumbling through this experience has taught me the importance of knowing thyself. If you know who you are, then the opinions of others tends to be the last thing you care about. In the words of my dad, you can't define a man who already knows who he is. Number two is keeping people in my life that were only meant for a season. There's an age old saying that goes, people come into your life for a reason, a season, or a lifetime. The meaning behind this is simple yet incredibly powerful when you start to understand it in relation to your own life. Now, in no way am I trying to sound rude when I say this, but I made the mistake of placing seasonal relationships on a lifetime pedestal. And because of this, I missed the opportunity to fully understand why they were in my life for just a period of time. I was so hung up on trying to figure out what happened or why we stopped talking to realize that maybe that season has passed and we're now each in a new chapter of life and that's okay. Number three is being too much of an introvert at times. Now, I'm a little weird, I have to admit. <laughs> See, normal people are either extroverted or introverted. Me, on the other hand, and I kid you not, I feel like I'm both. See, I love interacting with people and having interesting conversations, but I also love silence and just observing without saying much. I also love my alone time. Now, I don't know if being too much of an introvert is really a thing or not, but sometimes this causes me not to open up as much as I could to those key relationships and friendships that I have. However, it's gotten better over the years and it's still a work in progress, but I thought I'd mention it in case you're dealing with something similar. Number four is being afraid of change. There's no denying that change is the process of life. It's the one thing you can argue that is guaranteed to happen regardless of what stage of life you're in. Now, I can't say that change itself scared me, but the emotions that come with change did. For example, having a fear of failure, a fear of discomfort, a fear of criticism, I was also afraid of things that were different than what I was used to. And because of this, I was timid and hesitant about making decisions that required change. It also spilled over into this idea of lacking independent thinking. Needless to say, I set out on this journey to break up with fear in an effort to regain control of my life. And all of this started with a poem I wrote titled Fear that I linked to down below in case you're interested in listening to it. Number five is trying to change my personality. Now, there's a bit of irony in this statement because if you've been following my content and consuming my writing for a while, then you're already very familiar with the phrase, stay true to you, and how much I stress the importance of doing just that. Well, <laughs> it wasn't always that way for me. I've tried changing my personality, my interest, my energy, you name it, all in efforts to impress others or to fit in with what I thought others wanted later realizing that most people don't care like you think they do. Now, as many would say, hindsight is 2020, And while part of me regrets these things, I'm still very grateful for the lessons these experiences have taught me. So if there's anything I can give you to take away from this conversation, it would be to embrace change across every inch of life and relationships. And when you're confused about what to do, trust your gut and always stay true to you. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.